Hi, this is John and welcome to another video. I have this rather nice photo of a secluded beach uh, opening the Elements 2020 editor and I want to show you one of the new features which is in the guided edits. So I'm going to switch straight across to guided and once we get to guided, take takes a few seconds, I want to use this new tool called object removal. So clicking on that launches the guided edit and I think this photo would look better with just four boats so I want to remove this large boat in the middle and make the photo photograph more balanced. So I'm just going to make a quick sweep with the lasso, lasso tool around the boat and its moorings and release and that shows it's selected and then just simply click on the remove object button and as you can see Photoshop Elements does its magic and using content aware technology blends the background ocean um, in replacing the missing boat. So I hope you like this new feature. It's quite simple to use. Sometimes you may get um, an object not completely removed and left behind and that's when you can use the spot healing brush to make extra adjustments, uh, just use the bracket keys, the right bracket key to enlarge the brush size and let's just click on this ob object here once and again the spot healing just blends it in. Um, we could even do this one over, over here, one click and it gets blended in. So that's the new guided edit, edit for removing unwanted objects in your photos. So I'm now going to show you another example and this one is a little bit more difficult because we have the um, underwater reflections and the above water object removal so I may have to do this in two separate sweeps. I'm going to go back into the guided um, edit for some reason I have to click twice to get to it. But there we are opening the interface the guided edit and I'm going to use the lasso tool again so I'm going to just do a sweep of this part here and just see how Photoshop Elements copes when I click the remove and you actually see it's um, it's done a strange job because it's it's duplicated some of the image above so let's do another sweep and see whether you see I'm including some of the um, the the surrounding pixels so that um, Elements has a better um, chance of using the content aware technology to, to, to blend. Click the remove object button again and there we have it's actually done quite a good job this time but you can see we need to do some tidying up because we've we've got some reflection here of the arm supporting the child so again I'm going to try and use the spot healing brush using the right bracket key again to enlarge and just see if I can click and gradually blend this in. You may need to click multiple times to get rid of everything. You may need to enlarge the spot healing brush again before we get rid of the shadow and the underwater arm. And you can see it's, it's doing a pretty good job of um, of removing all the bits and pieces and I need to do some more work down here to blend to blend this in just keep clicking with the spot healing brush and there we have it it's, it's uh, just really to demonstrate to you that the, the the tool is not always that intuitive and you may need to do some extra work in fact we may need to click next on this one and take it into the expert mode and we could use the clone stamp tool to sample from a different area so enlarging this tool i'm going to hold the alt key down and click here and sample from this piece of ocean here and if we just roughly paint over um, you can see we're just blending in from this left hand side and um, click again to resample and we don't get the repeat patterns then but um, well I'm not going to spend too much time on this but you, you, you get the idea 
um, of how this tool will really work. And I hope with the two examples, it gives you some um, perspective of how you can use this remove object for getting rid of unwanted items. So once again, thank you for watching and bye for now.